Hello, this is Professor Sanyal. In this video, I'm going to show a simple way to address missing value problems in datasets. And I'm also going to show how to create a subset from the rows as well as from the columns in a dataset. If you are not familiar with the Rapid Miner Studio interface, you may watch the first video in this playlist where I introduce the Rapid Miner Studio 9.3 interface. In this video, I'm going to use a dataset which is called the Internet Usage Dataset, which I have already imported to RapidMiner Studio. Let's take a look at this dataset. So, this is a really simple dataset that contains demographic information on 11 individuals and also their internet usage habits. So, for instance, let's go to the statistics tab. And so we have gender information. There are 11 individuals, four of whom are female, seven male. We have race information, birth year. But more importantly, we have their uh, information on their internet habits. So for instance, how many years they have been on the internet, they have been using the internet, um, how many hours per day they spend on the internet, what is their preferred browser, what is their preferred search engine, email, whether they use, whether they read news on the internet, yes or no, whether they do online shopping on the internet, yes or no. This data set is a little old um, and it has um, missing values, uh, many missing values, as you can see over here. There are two missing values for online shopping, three missing values and online gaming. Now, for any real uh, analytics projects, missing value can be a critical problem. Uh, and there are many ways, obviously, to handle missing values. I'm not going through all of those over here. Um, but to quickly summarize, some of the methods that are used to handle missing values are, for instance, we can remove all the rows that has missing values. We can uh, replace the missing value with the averages for that uh, attribute. We can impute the missing values from the other values for that attribute. So there are many ways of uh, addressing missing values. What I want to show in this video is one way to address missing values, which is by removing all the instances of an attribute that has missing values. So I'm going to use the attribute online shopping, which has two missing values. So there are 11 rows in this data set and online shopping is missing for two out of those 11 cases. Now, suppose I want to remove those two rows where the online shopping is missing. So in other words, suppose online shopping is an important attribute for my analysis and I want to remove all rows where online shopping is missing. To do that, let's build a process. So let's go back to the design view, put internet usage in the process panel and use an operator which is called the filter examples. So I can use this operator in order to remove the missing values. So filter examples um, has, we can create the filters over in the parameters panel over here. So we'll say add filter and we can select online shopping and online shopping is, we can choose is not missing. So in these parameters, we can add a number of different type of filters, but the one we want in this case is to say online shopping is not missing. So in other words, what we want to happen is to keep only those rows where online shopping is not missing. So we can add this and say, okay. Now, if we run the process by clicking the button over here, we'll see that Rapid Miner has eliminated the two rows uh, where online shopping was missing. 
as a result we have we are uh, left with nine rows so if we go to the statistics uh, tab over here we'll see that now there are no missing values for online shopping because those two rows where online shopping was missing has been removed so again this is a simple way to remove uh, missing values or remove all rows where an important variable has missing values so next i want to show how to select certain attributes or how to not select certain attributes so if we go back to our uh, results view we'll see that it has a number of attributes now suppose in our analysis we do not want the facebook and twitter attributes we want all the attributes but not facebook in tweet facebook and twitter so to do that we can go back to our design and add an operator which is called the select attribute so select attribute allows us to select the attributes that we want or in other words deselect the attributes that we do not want so, so here is our select attributes operator and we can go to attribute filter type and we can say we want to pick a subset of the attributes that we want so we select subset over here and then we can select the attributes that we want by clicking select attributes now we want everything except facebook and twitter so we can select all the attributes over here so now we have selected all the attributes except facebook and twitter and we can say apply and now if we run the process we'll see in the output we have all the attributes except facebook and twitter now there is another easy way to select the attributes that we want or in other words to leave out the attributes that we do not want which i'll show next so let's go back to the design and go back to the select attributes so here are all the attributes that we selected but in this case we needed to select a number of attributes and we needed to not select only two attributes so here it here it is how it was before all we wanted was to not select facebook and twitter so in this case it might be easier to select Facebook and Twitter and tell RapidMiner to invert the selection. So here's another way to do the same thing that I just did, which is to select Facebook and Twitter, say apply, and then say invert selection, which means I'm telling RapidMiner that select everything except Facebook and Twitter, which is the same as what we did before so if we run the process again we'll see that all the attributes have been selected except facebook and twitter so the last thing i want to show in this video is to select a subset of rows so if you think about it select attributes what it does is it select a subset it selects a subset of columns like we selected everything all the columns in the data set except facebook and twitter to select a subset of rows we have to we can use the sampling operator which is called sample so there are a number of different types of sampling operators of, uh, which are needed for different purposes for example we can use stratified sampling bootstrapping sampling and other types of sample but for this video i'm going to use the simple sampling operator which is called the sample and we, i'm going to put it over here now sampling it says the sample size suppose i want to select 60 percent of the data that is in the data set so to do that so we can change it to relative so absolute it ha it provides a different types of sampling options absolute relative and i'll talk about the absolute and relative so first let me select relative and say what percentage of the sample do i want so if i want a 60 percent sample we can change 0.1 to 0.6 and this will give us a 60 percent sample of the data set so if i go ahead and say run 
then we are left with 60% of the sample. Now, which is five rows. Now we can achieve the same output by choosing absolute from here and saying that just give us five rows, which will, which is the same as the 60% sample in this case. So if we run this process, we'll see that we are left with five rows. So in other words, if we know exactly how many rows we want to see in the output, we can choose absolute and select that many rows. Or if we just want a percentage sample, then we can select relative and then say what percentage of the uh, number of rows or what sample percentage do we want in the output. So that concludes this uh, video where I showed how to address uh, missing values or rather one simple way to address missing values and how to select a subset of the rows which is through the sampling operator and a subset of the columns using the select attributes operator. Thank you so much for your attention.